Horseshoe Lake is a small town located in Crittenden County, Arkansas. In 1990, the population of the town was 298. One of its residents was Travis Sante Lewis, and in 1996, he was 16. On September 10th of that year, he committed a crime that would shock the state. He broke into Snowden House, which was a lavish mansion built in 1919 and was home to the affluent Snowden family. It's worth mentioning that prior to breaking into the house, Lewis had actually lived on a property owned by the Snowdens with his parents. Inside the house at the time was 75-year-old Sarah Snowden McKay and her nephew, 51-year-old Joseph Lee Baker Jr., who was a relatively well-known musician in Memphis, Tennessee. Lewis claimed that he only intended to rob the mansion, but he must have thought that nobody was home because Joseph and Sarah apparently spooked him, so he shot them both multiple times, killing them. He then tried to burn the place down and fled the scene. He was caught shortly afterwards and pleaded guilty to the two murders. Sarah's family didn't want him to receive the death penalty, so he was sentenced to over 28 years in prison, with him being required to serve at least 70% of his sentence. This is when Sarah's daughter Martha enters the story. At the time of the murders, one of Sarah's sisters, Edith, became manager of the family's Horseshoe Lake enterprise. Martha, who had been living in California, joined Edith to help her during the transition. After Edith's death in 2006, Martha purchased Snowden House from the rest of the family, giving her 100% ownership of the property. She intended to renovate it and reopen the house as a bed and breakfast for visitors to enjoy. The bed and breakfast generally got good reviews by those who stayed there. As well as paying attention to her business, she also paid attention to the man who took her mother away from her. At some point during his time in prison, Lewis started receiving letters from Martha. In the letters, she expressed sadness and empathy for Lewis, given how he was only 16 at the time of the murders. She also believed him when he claimed that there was another person involved in the crime. Martha was a Buddhist, and forgiveness was a very important part of her personality. She thought that if and when he was released, he could be rehabilitated and become an upstanding member of the community. In 2018, Lewis was paroled, and Martha employed him as a housekeeper at the house, a job that was once held years before by his mother. On March 25th, 2020, 62-year-old Martha McKay's body was found in Snowden House at the bottom of the staircase, the same house that her mother and cousin had been murdered in 23 years prior. She had been stabbed numerous times with a knife. While she was being attacked, Martha sounded an alarm that would summon police, but unfortunately she bled out before they could arrive. The county sheriff Mike Allen gave a statement to the press on what happened next. Two deputies that arrived found an open back door and upon clearing the house, located a possible suspect who jumped from an upstairs window and ran to a vehicle that he drove across the yard and got stuck in the yard. The suspect then jumped from the car and ran and jumped into the lake. He was observed going under the water and never came back up. The suspect's body was recovered by the search and rescue team using sonar equipment to locate his remains. The police were shocked when they realized who the body belonged to, Travis Sante Lewis. The man who Martha had befriended and trusted broke into her house, looking for more items to steal. It's unknown if Lewis meant to only rob the house and things turned deadly, or if he intended to kill Martha and then steal from the house. We'll never know. He may have covered her body with a blanket to set on fire, as he had done to the house the previous time, to destroy any evidence. The autopsy found a mixture of methamphetamine, marijuana and cocaine in his system at the time of his death. Investigators also revealed that Travis Lewis had been banned from the property one month prior to the murder of McKay. She had sold a chandelier for $10,000 and kept the cash at home until she could deposit it in the bank. But the money mysteriously disappeared, and the only person who saw her come home with the money and stash it was Lewis. So she reached the only logical conclusion and fired him on the spot. It's also worth mentioning that Lewis's own mother Gladys had disowned him shortly before his parole. 
She warned Martha that if released, he would go back to his old ways. And unfortunately, that's exactly what happened. Another thing to mention is that, except for Martha, all of her family rejected the idea of him being paroled. But yeah, for some reason, she stood up for him and wanted him to be released early. Joe Baker, the son of Joseph Lee Baker, who lost three family members to the same murderer, told WREG-TV, It's kind of like a bad dream or deja vu. For me, it speaks to some of the issues with the parole system in Arkansas. I think that she really felt in her heart he deserved to be rehabilitated, which I think really speaks to her character after such a tragic event happened to such a close family member. I'm just beyond sad that it turned out this way for her. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm victim blaming here. It's awful what happened to this lady and she didn't deserve it in the slightest. But it's one thing to forgive the man who killed your loved one so that you can move on and find peace and not let the past continue to haunt you. It's another thing entirely to bring your mother's killer into your life and befriend them. As the old saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished. The only remotely positive thing about this case is that Travis Lewis is finally off the face of the earth for good. Thanks for watching everyone, that long video I talked about in my last video will be next, I promise you. This case has intrigued me for some time and also I just wanted to get another video out for you guys. So yeah, keep an eye out for that long video and I'll see you there.